it's 5:30 in the morning and i'm heading out for a birding tour yes you heard me right a birding tour it's going to be fun We are going on a tour with a professional guide and a naturalist. Let's see how the experience is going to be. I'm not sure as to what is the kind of capture I can do with this small camera of mine, but then uh, I'll try my best. Let's hope that we're going to be lucky with some birds out there, which I could showcase to you. And uh, before uh, we start this walk, the bird watching, we will have a quick intro session is happening. So I want all of you to say name and where are you from. That will be good enough to know. Each other. In Kurg, we can see around the 306 species of birds. 306 species. Of now, uh, when we go outside for the bird watching, and I would humbly request you, any call is coming, you put a silent mode and should not talk loudly, sir. If you talk loudly, so the birds will go away. Okay. And good that everybody I can see you came with the right attire, the right fitness because the, the dust coat can camouflage with the nature. Okay, and how to use binoculars I will teach you now because most of them are using binoculars the first time. Some people are using binoculars already. If I tell you, look at a bird on the tree and suddenly in your mind you take that tree as a clockwise. Okay, clockwise. If I tell you, sir, the middle of the middle of that branch which is sitting, the dry branch, and then what you say, and you focus on the two o'clock, two o'clock angle. And just bottom is come, there's a six o'clock and the three o'clock like a 4 o'clock and 11.30 or 1.30 like that angle you have to see and sometime I will give, tell you there's a dry branch go a little 3 feet height and come like this and see the white throated kingfisher mm. so the white throated kingfisher it always hunts from the, the level of 30 to 35 feet height so 35 feet height this particular kingfisher not even in the water it will go to a dry deciduous forest rain forest anywhere if this water completely dried in the ponds it will go to a deciduous area in the forest where there is no ponds at all it will actually hunt the geckos and amphibians and it will reptile and all it hunts that is it third bird inside see 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 that's called as Malabar whistling thrush. Mm. Yeah, it's basically. <coughs> Sir, the bird, what you hear the call, no? It's called common flame. See, without leaves, mm -hmm. the branch without mm -hmm. leaves. Can you see the birds eating it? No, no, tar, not so. It is actually 11.30 Ah, I saw, I saw, saw. You saw? Yes, Now you, you, you actually rotate yeah, your focus. Yeah. This is called an activity called as mixed party. <laughs> so all the birds are coming together and you know, it works up all the insects so other birds will come. So all the birds, they share food among themselves. Sir. It's called mixed party. Yeah. Yeah. Not sitting on this. No, 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 it is set. getting pictures is very difficult. What, What is this bird? It's called white belly tree pine. Tree pine, yeah. yeah white belly tree pine. It's on top of the last tree. Here, here. Here, Been through different rains across the forest, we got to see some amazing fauna around us, different kinds of plants and trees, especially ferns of various varieties, which were amazing tall trees on which most of the birds had perched and was making us difficult to see. We also got to see some small lives like snail, and an amazing centipede which walks and then if you touch it, turns into a ball and it was quite a sight to see. So we weren't lucky to see too many birds but then we have the bird man who's gonna, who's gonna showcase his talent now. Watch out. Yes sir, there's a two crows in, 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 in Karnataka state. One is house crow, 
one is called jungle crow the house crow it calls like this ka 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 like that the male the okay and the jungle crow the crow like jungle crow it makes a call <clears throat> like this ka 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 the male the female makes a call ka 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 they also have a courtship call ka 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 they make a call and there is a bird called as the indian pitta which makes a call like that crested serpent eagle it makes a call the male the female makes a call like that and uh, uh, malabar barbet it makes a call like that and there is a bird name called this greater cowkel which makes a call after that the male makes a call and immediately the female responds like that the malabar trogon will make a call like that it will makes a call there's a brown fresh uh, brown uh, uh, fish eagle sorry uh, owl the owl makes a call uh, uh, brown fish owl it will makes a call it's a male the female makes a call it makes uh there is a the bird name called uh, this one or it's called the white cheek barbet the white cheek barbet it makes a call no peacock it makes a call there is a one particular bird it's called as a hornbill it's called malabar grey hornbill it's a very commonly sighted deer the male make a call it makes a call the male it makes no male and the female makes a call this is how they make calls so this is how the bird communicates by themselves i'm sure you all enjoyed sir so i'm back after a wonderful birding tour and uh, ganesh who was the guide with us took us through some of the greener pastures of madikeri and we could see some nice birds butterflies and some animal life too um i have tried to showcase uh, how the experience is a uh, few things that you need to keep in mind while coming on a birding tour is the fact first and foremost understanding that you got to be lucky to see birds sighting is based on your luck the climate and of course the scale of patience you have 2 hours into the trek i can definitely tell you we had a lot of beautiful experiences the nature was beautiful the weather was just right it was overcast but yet sunny uh, it was chilly in the morning when we started but then it became well, when the sun came out it was pleasant so we could walk pretty well we went through different terrains uh, we went through mushy tracks we went through proper roads we went through even stone roads through the plantations as well so tracking was pretty good and we could see a uh, lot of uh, other animal life as well we could see insects we could see a uh, lot of plant varieties that was another interesting aspect and the beautiful commentary which came along through the guide was even more exciting because he knows the terrain so well he has been doing this for such a long time and absolutely unique point is that you take a kind along when you're on a birding tour especially if you don't know anything about it few ideas doesn't help going on a birding tour you can do all the research that you want but at the ground level it is an entirely different scenario so what i would suggest honestly regardless of where you go regardless of which destination you go take the help of a guide or a naturalist who knows something about the terrain so that you can have the best output from it overall this sightings was satisfactory i would say satisfactory for the reason i did get to see some birds they were small minuscule i couldn't see much through naked eye of course that's not possible it is definitely not possible through this lens either so i use the help of binoculars i also use the help of my friend's camera and that's how i got to see the birds i hope 
you enjoyed this beautiful birding tour at Madikeri, Karnataka. Do like, share, comment and subscribe by hitting the notification button. This is Shailesh signing off until the next one.